I'm seeing it right now in the South End. All the high end, all the expensive places are moving to the South End. It was a very bad neighborhood, they said, but now it's getting great attention. Brockton has a lot to offer. We are building, we are having a lot of children, we have a lot of talent in Brockton. Please keep it up because that's what makes us. And for the work, it's all work. It's simple. The work will tell you what they are. So if you have questions, let me know. But the work is, is here. So enjoy it. So we're here with the man of the hour, Duke and Delpe. As you can see, some of his beautiful work hanging right behind us. Duke, and why don't you just tell us a little bit about your inspiration? Um, my inspiration start in Brockton, basically. This is the city where I live. This is the city where I get all my materials. And those work I'm showing here tonight, they are all connected with the city. Uh, I love art since I was a kid. And I always use my surrounding. Anything that is around me, inspire me. And as you will see in the show, a lot of the pieces have very um, current event. So they are contemporary pieces. Like you will see the technology pieces, like the piece behind us right now, it's about mass incarceration. So even though the materials are from Brockton, but it's a broad conversation. It's about the world we are living in right now. It's about our country. So it's all inclusive. Everything has something to play with. Well, we have found another Brockton legend, Arnie Danielson, who is the president of Brockton Arts. Arnie, just tell us a little bit about this gallery, about this event. Well, this event is the beginning of a sense that the city has a legitimate art culture that is developing. It works with us at our gallery, it works here, it works over at Fuller, it works with Roly Blanchett, it works with the Massasoit Theater Company and the work they do there. And there's a developing sense that we have a real working art scene. We send musicians and artists everywhere all the time. People are now coming here on a regular basis to participate. And it's wonderful. It's wonderful. We've been working at it for a long time. We're actually very, very pleased that these things are going on. I've just spent three days hanging this show with Duquesne. The art artist is over there. He and I have worked together for four years now. This is the fourth show we've hung together. And he tells me he's aiming straight at the ICA and the MFA. And I'm going to go with him if he lets me. Well, we found two, uh, two friends here who are checking out the beautiful artwork. This is Fritz and Valentin. Guys, why don't you just tell me a little bit about yourselves and what drew you to this show? Uh, actually, uh, I'm an artist myself, you know. Uh, I've been, uh, I left Haiti a long time ago, 1981, and then uh, we've been uh, showing our work all over the place, you know, at the universities in uh, Massachusetts, uh, somewhere in Vermont, and... Uh, in New York, you know, so this is our friend showing, so that's why, you know, we, we had to support him. And as, a, as artists ourselves, so we came to support him. Duke and Delpe. Awesome. What, uh, what sort of art do you work with? Are you a painter, photographer, sculpture? Actually, uh, I'm a painter, you know, and uh, we do a lot of drawings, you know, charcoals, you know, Indian inks, you know, everything you can call watercolors. Excellent. So you're here to support Dukin? I do. Excellent. Excellent. Well, two friends who are here checking out some of the beautiful artwork that uh, Dukin Delpe has put together. Let's check out some more art.
So I'm here with another star of the show, not one of the artists, but Sierra Peters is the curator of the Enzo Gallery. Sierra, just give us a little window into what it takes to put on a show like this. Um, well, first we have to, one, introduce ourselves to the artist. So luckily we had the artist introduce himself to us um, by just coming in during one of the days when I was gallery sitting and we connected via email and we just talked a little bit. I visited his studio and saw the amazing work that you see on the walls. Um, and so after I visit, after we do a studio visit, we usually um, decide which pieces, we have a conversation about which pieces, what kind of message he wants to send with the show and things of that nature. Um, you know, what kind of message the art is sending to us and, you know, uh, have a conversation about that. And so we usually, um, yeah, go through that process of selecting the artwork and then uh, hanging. Um, after hanging, it's like a bunch of event planning business. That's usually the process, is uh, having the conversation, honestly. It's just a series of conversations. Uh, how, how has it been working with Duke and what sort of, you know, how, how is his relationship with you guys? What did you think of him when you initially met him? How did this all come about? Um, well, he told us the stories of how, you know, he won, um, won eighth place in the place eighth in the world for the Jap Japanese uh, competition. I can't remember what it was. It was Olympia, I believe. Um, and so uh, we just had a, a series of conversations, like I said before, and you know, uh, we've had the studio visit and he showed us, you know, his ideas, his amazing work, and there's so much more to come. So Duke, thank you so much for exhibiting your work here. It's incredible. Uh, I know you're committed to the city and the fact that you were willing to do the show here at Enzo Flats uh, shows your commitment to the city and uh, thank you so much. We're going to do whatever we have to do to keep you here. You can travel all around the world selling your eye, but we want you working out of Brockton, okay? Thank you. All right.